This video is about announcements in Enter. This is an easy to use tool that keeps you connected with students. You can provide them with reminders and new information, perhaps updates to links. From a student's point of view, your course homepage collects all the announcements for a unit that you've activated. To see the announcement, all the student has to do is click on the title and they can read the information. If you've included a link, it would also be shown in this box. When a student goes to a particular unit, of course, they'll see just the announcements for that unit. I'll show you how easy it is to add an announcement. Let me close the member view and show you this unit from an instructor's point of view. You see that the unit announcements pool appeared under the activities. This isn't seen by students, it's just for you to use. When you click on it, you'll see the announcement that's already been entered. Let's add another one. Click the Add button. And it starts off by requiring a title. Let's call this New Farm Bill. And you can enter text. Notice that with our rich text editor, we can do simple styling of the text with bold, um, maybe aligning it, or using bullet points or numbered lists, your basic um, rich text editor. To create a link, you have to highlight the text, then the linking tool becomes active. Click it, enter your URL or or web address. Make sure that the target gets set to open the link in a new window. That way students won't leave the course window. It'll be open separately. And click Insert. That's all you have to do. At the bottom below the text area, if you want students to see this and you want to make sure that active is checked, if it's something that you want to prepare in advance and activate it later, you can leave that, you can make that unchecked. Choose send email if this is an important alert that you want to make sure that students see uh, with a message to their email. For now, I'll leave that unchecked and just click save. The screen then takes me back to the announcement pool where you can see the title of the new announcement that I created. The check marks that are next to these titles are used if you need to delete a message or an announcement or to change the activation if you want to change it from to a deactive meaning students won't yet see it I can check mark it notice in the active column it is now it now shows no so students will not see it but I want to activate it so let me go ahead and select that and click execute when I return back to unit 5 the new announcement is listed, and of course if I go back to the course homepage, it's added to the list of announcements.